There's a brief point at the beginning of this story, when I hadn't know about Neville Goddard. Neville's guidance has helped me up my game significantly. I now understand why certain things have happened for me instead of to me. I'm writing some of my thoughts out in case it's helpful to anyone reading. This story started in 2019 when my now ex-BF broke up with me for the exact reason I always thought I'd get broken up with. In every relationship, I would routinely visualize being broken up with for this very reason because it was my biggest fear. It was one of the main reasons my self-esteem was so low at the time. I had an epiphany when it happened. I remember thinking, why on earth would I choose to visualize something so painful when I can visualize something beautiful? especially in the off chance it'll come true. I didn't know what the law or anything like that was back then. Before the breakup, I was cynical and didn't believe in magic. I also studied science and am currently an engineer. So while I instinctually love magic, I often dismissed it as foolish. Later that year, after learning about Neville and the law, I manifested my SP after working on my self-concept and visualizing a partner who would love me dearly. It was enjoyable, and that was my main goal to have fun imagining things that brought me joy and feelings of love. I remember doing that a bunch as a kid. My SP and I began dating more seriously in early 2020, but I could sense that my anxiety and the old story had a strong hold over me. COVID lockdowns began, and my SP and I parted ways with no contact for a while. I let my anxiety run rampant and my self-concept greatly suffered. I had a lot of time on my hands and very little control over my thoughts. Social media became a tool for stalking one of his past partners. I now realize that my focus on them and their past relationship introduced the third party into our dynamic after they hadn't spoken in years. I refused to be accountable then and blamed the behavior on my SP and men in general. I used to create negative generalizations about men and then wondered why all of my men fit my stereotypes. Neville makes it crystal clear why this happens. I giggle and feel relief just thinking about it. I became accountable and went on a mental diet. I eventually attracted my SP again in early 2021 and am delighted to report that we're very happy together. Removing the third party completely took several more months after the initial reattracting, but I got there. Learning about Neville has supercharged my happiness in my relationship with my SP. I'll add that I started affirming. This practice comes easily to me. I'm always learning, growing, and improving my law practice and myself. The law is simple and always works for me. I'm mainly writing this post to highlight that I have certainly not been perfect. My practice was a little messy at the start, but it still worked. There have been times when I've wavered, including comparing myself to the third party. I think the power of Neville's teachings is the practicality of the law and the fact that you can have moments when you waver, but get back up and practice again. People here have affirmed that feeling your emotions is essential, and I couldn't agree more. Feeling your emotions and letting them run their course equals self-compassion. Self-compassion and picking yourself back up equals improving your self-concept. Improving your self-concept equals getting closer to your desires. Always. To help with my habit of comparing, I began affirming. The third party is probably comparing herself to me. It's a normal habit for some people. I don't need to be ashamed of this habit. I don't need it as a crutch anymore. I use my time effectively for other pursuits that create a more beautiful life. I took it all very slowly, so please bear with me. I've eradicated 98% of the habit, and my self-concept is constantly improving. I'm practicing this daily with scripting, sats, and a mental diet. I also read success stories. Fast forward to this past week when a friend who works at the same firm as third party sent me a LinkedIn post. That third party wrote about a recent career update. The third party mentioned that they, at some point, did a certificate program at an Ivy League school with no proof. I'll preface that my SP has said that the third party tends to lie and cares a lot about how others perceive them. This made me wonder how this is a mirror. I'd tended to put my SPs on a pedestal and worried about how they perceived me. This third party had no prior affiliation with my university. I couldn't help myself, so I looked up the certificate program. No such program exists at all. My discovery confirmed what I affirmed for many months. The third party compares herself to me. Everyone is you pushed out, for real. I feel naughty admitting this, but I felt validated after learning that she'd lied about the program. Despite this validation, and as a result of what it tells me about my self-concept, I've been affirming that she's found someone new, is happy with them, and has career success. All of the above is to say that I believe in magic now, and I hope this helps some folks out there. Feel free to leave any comments.